may have not noticed any of these punchlines while watching the show, but we've singled them out in one list. And we're going to be showing them in one big list. Get ready for some awkward stares, sexy smirks, and lines that none of the kids understood. So here are some of the flash things only adults notice. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 12. I'm glad I didn't decide to go braless. It's not the fact that Barry brought her to Star Labs that's interesting. It's not the fact that Felicity's shirt caught on fire while Barry carried her in his hands for hundreds of miles. It's what she said after taking the burning shirt off. I'm glad I didn't decide to go braless, right before covering her chest with a big purse. And the one thing that made everything 100 times better is when Cisco and Snow walked. She was braless and Vibe just said, I'm never forgetting this. And then Felicity made Barry blush when she went on and on about how they would have been a terrible couple. I'm glad I decided not to go braless. Number 11. Was Barry actually talking about the food? One morning, Iris was preparing breakfast for Barry. We all know she's a terrible cook. So when Barry said, mmm, yummy, we don't know if he was being sarcastic or just wasn't talking about the food at all. And here's why we think it's more likely the second option. For starters, we should point out that he started kissing Iris on the neck immediately after getting in the kitchen. And when we saw his hand going below the shot and Iris moaning, we just knew something was about to happen. Yummy. You just got the stupid thing and it's broken already. Six pieces. Number 10. That's what she said. Literally. The first time Barry met Felicity, she moved hundreds of miles across country to find out if this young guy has the speed people claim he does. So when she met Barry, they first talked for a while to break the ice and then she said it. Felicity actually told Barry to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't already. But no, what she really said was, I wanna see it. Jaw freaking drop. Now you can see how awkward the scene was because Barry has a dirty mind. So when he heard Felicity say this, he could only think of one thing. I want to see it. And by it, I mean your speed, in case you thought I was talking about something else, which I... Number 9. Ralph is quite the math kid. He's excellent at math when it comes to calculating the bra size of women. Now, we know he's not the brightest kid on the block, but he sure is the funniest kid on Team Flash. When he first met the team, Caitlyn was talking about the superpowers of one of the villains Barry has to fight. The only thing he could reply to that was, that's really smart, 34, 25, 34. It was so obvious, even Caitlin caught that. She asked if he actually guessed her bra size, but Barry told her not to pay much attention to Ralph. Because, as we already know, he has his short moments of brilliance, and brilliance has the largest quotation marks around it. It's really smart, 34, 25, 34. Did he just give my... No, ignore it. Number 8. The other thing that happened three nights in a row. Iris really cares about Barry. That's why she got really angry that her husband was leaving her in the middle of the night for work. Three nights in a row. She was tired of it, and she confronted him about leaving her in the middle of the night. The only thing Barry could reply was, I know of another thing that happened three nights in a row. Now, we don't know what to think about this. It's kind of awkward and cringy, but at the same time, it's sort of sweet. Well, this is the third night in a row. I know something else that's happened three nights in a row. Number 8. Did he just say, Daddy likes the metal? It's not the fact that they were having the most awkward session of Frenching in the entire universe. It wasn't even the fact that they were slobbering all over each other. The fact that actually creeped us out was that this man said when the girl told him, Oh, I should have taken off the gauntlet. Without missing a beat, he replied, Leave it on. Daddy likes the metal. Who in the freaking world says that? That has got to be the biggest turnoff we've ever seen in our lives. Number 6. Barry doesn't want to get caught by Joe. One of the benefits of being a speedster is that you can get out from the most awkward of situations. Take this one for example. Barry and Iris are making out on the living room couch. When Joe walks in the door, Barry activates his super speed, goes to the fridge, grabs a beer, and comes back on the couch, like nothing ever happened. Now, this is kind of cool when you're a teenager, but after 20, hiding from the dad while kissing a girl is actually one of the biggest turnoffs in the world. Number 5. Grant Gustin accidentally copping a field. We told you Ralph is not the sharpest tool in the box, 
For example, when they left him in charge of Star Labs while Barry and Iris were on vacation, he wanted to have some fun. That's code for disaster ahead. He accidentally activated the alarm system that had Barry run from Hawaii back to Star Labs. That's because he thought some villain might have broken in. And when Iris was ready to tear him apart, Barry pulled her towards him. Right then, he copped a little feel of Candace Patton's breast. As soon as he felt it, his arms retracted. Just look at his face when he realized what he had done. You get the picture. I was gonna press that one next. Number 4. Gran has a special plan for Valentine's Day. After a tiring year, Barry got Iris a huge bouquet of roses and they celebrated a peaceful Valentine's Day together. But this wasn't enough for Barry. He had something else planned for Valentine's Day of the following year. He proposed to Iris, they lock themselves up in the time vault and don't come back until morning. Now, we all know what locking yourself in the vault until morning really means. Besides, if you don't think we're right, then look at Iris's face. Next year, we lock ourselves in the time vault and don't come out till morning. <laughs> Number 3. Barry still doesn't want to get some sleep. After suffering from lots of nightmares, Barry was finally ready to get some sleep. And just as Iris told him that he can finally go to bed peacefully and without worries, Barry once again proved to us that he has the dirtiest brain of all time. Instead of sleeping, he said, well, that last part is entirely up to you. Judging by the look that these two shared, we don't think they were going to stay up because they wanted to talk about their feelings, if you know what we mean. I'm sleep tonight. Well, that last part is entirely up to you. Number two, and he's not the only one that's horny. You know what? When it comes to dirty thoughts, Iris can just be as perverted. When Barry asked her, so do you want any or this or... Iris was already kissing him and she said, mm, yes, and some of the food too. For Iris, all of this meant that Barry was one of the dishes that was on the menu. And he was the actual main course. So you want any of this or... Um, yes. And some of the food too. Number one the sweet, creepy line that almost ended his relationship. The first date he and Iris went on together could have been the last. Why, you ask? Well, it's because he actually said that Christmas came early for him, then grabbed Iris by the hand, looked her straight in the eye, and told her, Look, Iris, mm, I still think about you all the time, and I know you've been thinking about me too. So let's just stop thinking and start doing. Oh my god! That is the absolute worst thing you can say on a first date. Start doing? Seriously? Barry, you're better than this. Well, you've been thinking about me too, so let's just stop thinking and start doing. On a related note, we wanted to know, did you notice any of these naughty scenes while watching the show? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.